Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Zanny and today we will be checking out Everglow's new comeback that they released early today called First, which is the title track from their newest singles album called Last Melody that has three tracks in total being First, Don't Ask, Don't Tell and Please Please. For today's video we will be checking out the Andy and then afterwards I will be checking out the um, showcase performance for First as well as the showcase performance of Please Please and checking out the song Don't Ask, Don't Tell so that we can have a singles album first listen. So now that we mentioned every single thing and you probably already noticed that I am super super excited to check this one out because I freaking love Everglow and all of their releases are always so freaking intense, over the top, powerful and I just love it. So from the looks of the teasers this one is no exception to that. So without further ado let's jump right into it and check out Everglow first. Ooh, Honda! My god the visuals! Mia's blue hair or turquoise hair. Wow. Is it in space? Whoa. My god, this is epic. Wow. They have so many effects. On that is center. Ooh. Oh. Is there in washups? I know. Ah, she's so freaking badass. <laughs> wow. Woo. The vocals, the intensity of this pre chorus. Wow, this is so in your face. Oh, I love the big tails. Oh, so cool. Oh, I love them rapping, oh my god. The effects are so cool. Wow. I love this pre-chorus, the crescendo is so intense. So freaking badass. Ooh, the ad lips, Mia. Wow. The camera work is so intense. Okay. Not a big fan of the outfits, but oh my god, this bridge. Wow, the vocals are so clean. So cute and badass with the pigtails. I love Hyun's vocals for this part. <laughs> you go. They had a dance break at the end.
I feel tired because <laughs> it was so freaking intense. I feel like I did the choreo with them, which is not at all the case, but holy shit, that was intense. Okay, I will be watching it once more and I will be right back. This is a hell of a release and it did not disappoint at all. From all of the different releases, different title tracks that they released along the years since they debuted, which is like the third year since they debuted, still, they always manage to surprise me. It always impressive how freaking charismatic, how uh, intense it all is, and how they are able to pull it off so freaking well. Such intense tracks, and they just do it like so freaking well. The choreo seems to be so freaking intense, and perhaps even uh, harder than some of their previous releases, which were already super hard. But just the choreo in itself is just like, wow, it's like a slap in your face <laughs> of how uh, freaking intense it is. Um, they all look so freaking charismatic. I love uh, the, like, the different duos that they have. For example, Eu and Aisha for the rap are so freaking good. Onda and Eden for the, like, um, let's say, parts that necessitate a little bit of fragility and a uh, suite of vocals they add actually the sweetness to it all and then Sion and Mia for the powerful vocals of both the pre-chorus and the chorus is so freaking well done I really love how they are making the girl crush evolve and create new types of um let's say subgenres or uh, taking it to another level and do some songs that you might think like perhaps boy groups would do a few years back but now it's girl groups doing it and they are killing it um like i said the choreo is super intense the moves are wow they look so freaking charismatic when it comes to the mv it looks so freaking good especially when they add different effects um when they are doing certain moves and the transitions that looks pretty cool and i don't know exactly what is the concept as i feel like they are mixing a little bit of this sort of futuristic plus like um i was going to say like almost like alien technology as they have a lot of shots of them like in outer space or on top of the moon or something like that and it just creates this sort of mixture of like the futuristic concept and a little bit of this alien type of concept i don't know how to explain it but it feels like they are mixing and matching a lot of things and that can be seen also in their outfits and I think that is really cool that they went there and even their hairstyles or even the teaser pictures and everything leading up for this comeback was very different from anything that has been uh, released in the last couple of years almost so it's really cool that they are doing their own thing and experimenting once more because like when you compare it to their previous comeback la di Dai has nothing nothing <laughs> to do with it it's completely different and they are showcasing a new style and that i freaking love when it comes to the track in itself i like it a lot it is super intense the pre-chorus is definitely my favorite part alongside the intro and the bridge such epic parts of the song I freaking love it. Aisha and EU's uh, rap duo, amazing. I loved it a whole lot and it's so freaking fast, so freaking intense, you're like Poof! and the visuals as per usual are just so freaking good. I really want to dye my hair blue now, I don't think it would suit me, but with Jungkook in Butter by BTS and now Mia <laughs> from Everglow. I really want to do something different with my hair because <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I need to do it. <laughs> they look so good in it. Those are overall all of my messy thoughts about this new comeback, Everglow first. What did you think about it? Have you watched the showcase performances? Did you listen to the other tracks? If so, what did you think about it? You can tell me in the comments down below. Either way guys, stick around for more as I will be checking out the showcase performances for uh, first as well as Please Please and checking out this track Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So in the meantime guys, don't forget to share a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because more are coming very soon. And until we see each other again, take care and yeah, guys, thank you, bye.